riding along the border, terrorizing. What they have done, they have actually uh, sustained, accommodated, sustained these people for political reasons to intimidate and subdue other communities for political reasons. Um, this is a well-coordinated series of malicious and false accusations of government community and the CS meant to mislead Kenyans authority. General public and the people residing in Marsabit, the communities of Marsabit, as a painting and in very bad light, the government accusations. Careless, irresponsible statement from Borana leadership, but of Borana com com community leaders to launch a living in the Saku constituency and the neighboring and the neighboring Horonde, Shur, Mude, Forole, El Hadi, Dukanda, and other border villages in the northern constituency. For avoidance of doubt, it should be noted that the recent insecurity incidents was triggered by earlier attacks on the Gabra community in the Turbi sub-county of Northern constituency and the Gabra in the Saku constituency. It is a known fact that a well-coordinated series of attacks were executed on the, community, on the Gabra community between November and January this year, where properties of unknown values were destroyed, life lost, and livestock stolen. Let me just bring this very uh, uh, important uh, few points to your attention. Various which led to the recent uh, occurrence that on November 26, Gabriel Manyata was attacked by a known number of Morana militia and goats were stolen, two herders were murdered, and three people are seriously injured. No stock recovered. That December 14th and the 19th, Museisago Orto's farm in the Saku constituency at the Malaysia, six, six camels, 12 goats, uh, 12 donkeys, and 300 sheep and goats were stolen. During their night trade, a person was killed and injured. And we have even provided OB number where we have reported this. And the on December 29th, All of calves were stolen by Borana militia bordering Moyale while grazing during the day. The cases was recorded in Turbi police station that on 7th to 8th this month Adiuka Manyata in Marsabe Tower as from the seat of the governor where the governor's office is. Uh, the whole day, the, 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 the militia, the Manyata, for two days, just exchanges of gunfire and an imaginable amount of properties was also destroyed. That on the 14th of the same month, 55 goats and sheep from outskirts of Torby again, while grazing in the grazing field. Borona has got the agenda of expansion or they are expansionists for political reason, for political dominance. That the illegal immigration of Ethiopian Borona community forcefully occupied Gabra ancestral land.
of the border along the stretch of Ethiopia border where uh, the governor and the Borasov has considered it to be their deliverables. Actually, dispatching the Gabra community from the ancestral land. A place in point, mainly, was led into that Gabra is uh, functions and prayers and the sacrifices in the medium to and the labor where, where it is now dominated by the OLF uh, remnants, harbored by the leaders. It should be noted without any iota of doubt that the root cause of the insecurity problems in Marsabet County is expansionist agenda by Borana leaders and they are to achieve the expansionist agenda, the Kenyan Borana political leaders facilitated mass migration of Ethiopian pastoral community into Kenyan towns of Moyale, Sololo, and later expanded to Saku constituency. Now Saku is right at the center of, at the heart of the county, where the county security is, where the governor is seated. Where Raso is the MP. Now, that place today, and I'm telling you, members of press and the public in general, is being dominated and terrorized by the remainers. And they can walk in broad daylight with the guns on the street, 10 of them, 20 of them, just along the road, well armed, in funny uniform. So these are some of the problems which is actually dominating and ailing Marsabit County. That after general election, they were left were also the same. Uh, we also see the headquarters of Marsabit County to further the expansion agenda. The county has has not seen has not, has not seen peace since then. It's in Saku constituency are destroyed, and the people living there are displaced. They are now in the refugee. Even if you people go there, you will meet them. They are now in Adihuka as refugees, all of them assembled there. Marsabet County is full of illegal immigrations or illegal immigrants and armed OLF militia from Ethiopia who are employed on cash jobs while the majority are serving as militia for hire and, in, and involved in the daily clashes in Saku, Horonder, Turbi, Idido, Forole, and the borderline of Northern constituency. That is the border, Kenya, Ethiopian borderline. That Marsabet County continues to experience and control illegal immigra immigration and foreigners from the Ethiopian side, I acquiring land, national identity cards, and voting on Kenyan soil. And yet they have got IDs on both sides. They can migrate when they want. During the election, they are ferried back. Now, they are being settled forcefully. Now, our humble request to the national government are as follows. The statement dated on 18th January 2021 aired in the national television by Borana leaders is fraudulent false and given in the bad light for bad reasons, for political reasons, for dominance reasons, for expansionist reasons. And therefore we request the government to expurge these oil left remnants, take them back to their mother country. The government, we also request the government to remove Borana militia oil left from Saku and Moyale along Kenya European border. That is where they terrorize. The national government to put in place stringent measures to prevent further influx of aliens from Ethiopia, Duru Moyale, and Magado and Ledim to roots. We also know their roots. Their roots. The road from Ledim to Magado be closed as it is being used to ferry aliens, drugs, and fire here to Kenya. Side. The national government 
enhance security in Shur, Horondere, and the border towns of Ibido and Forole. To reset back and protect the Gabra community, displays and the, and, and, uh, the Gabra community displaced by the skirmishes and give them back their lands. We as a Gabra community, we want to reiterate and tell Kenyans and the media at large that we are peace-loving people, that we are ready to keep peace in Marsabet County and anywhere else where we are bordering with any other ethnic group. Thank you so much. I would like just to add a few things to what he has said. Being the resident of Marsabit, we have undergone through many problems. Light. The statement given by leaders actually misleads what people should understand is home to 14 tribes and when they come 